All right, so I got a client here that did not report a 1099 NEC on their tax return. So they got a CB2000 notice, $19,000. Here it is. The catch is that this 1099 was issued to the client because his son actually used his social to sign up for Upwork. And his son actually reported this income on his tax return, which luckily enough, right? But the IRS has it on taxpayers' social. It wasn't on the tax return. CB2000 automatically goes out. Now we have to now backtrack and explain to the IRS that, hey, it was on our son's tax return. Please get this off. Our return was previously reported, paid tax on. So we went ahead and did that. Here we go. So here's the notice that he got, right? Big $19,000, big amount, scary, right? And you'll see down here, right, third party, is a 1099, it was a 1099K, I apologize, not NEC, 1099K, and this was from Upwork that he got it, 57K, right? So 20,000 is what they're charging him because this big $3,000 penalty here. All right, so how did we respond to this thing? First and foremost, we have to fill out this response form, right? The IRS gives it to us on that CP2000. You'll see on this one, it's, you know, the last, what, two, three pages here. So you have to fill out this response form, put your, you know, your phone number in here. We check the box, right? We do not agree with these changes here. And then, you know, I filled out my information because I did represent this client here, but you don't have to if you do this yourself. And then we sent out a lovely statement to them. And this is our statement here, essentially just saying we do not agree, right? And then saying that, you know, taxpayer's son put his <laughs> taxpayer's social on this W, man, it should have been a W9, look at that typo on my end, W9 uh, with the taxpayer's social, it should have been his, right? And then the 1099K was issued to the taxpayer when it should have been to the taxpayer's son. And I, you know, I put his name, his social in here so they can kind of uh, reference all this type of stuff redacted obviously though for this purpose and then you'll see right that I actually attached a copy of that tax return to this response to show them that hey we did put that 57k on the son's tax return and then I just asked hey can you please you know remove this from the proposed amount Okay, but you know, this is what I do. This is kind of my generic kind of template to respond to the IRS, the CP2000 notices. I'll get my face out of the way so you can kind of see this, but this is what you should generally use. And, and keep in mind, this is, you know, like this, this right here is important. Everything else is going to be curtailed to essentially your particular situation, but generally, this is what I use. Well, and the date over here too, right? Um, there you go. So we sent that off. And then what did we get in response? Voila, this is what we got here. We got a zero due and case is closed. That's it. Nothing we need to do after this, obviously. Went from 19K to zero, so that's good. But we definitely did need to send that in. Just for a timeline here, you'll see, right? April of 22 is when I sent this in and they came back with this response. April, May, June, July, three months later. That's pretty quick, quick response here. All right, I hope the video was helpful. If it was, please like, share, subscribe to the channel for more of these, this type of content here. Um, if you need help with your particular situation, you want a professional like me to do this for you, I do offer 15 minute free consultations to take a look at your CP2000 and see even if this is something that I can do and if it is, what my fee would be to do that. Link, in, link below for my Calendly to book that 15 minute consultation. Thank you so much.